Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my beauty trash from the month of January of 2018. First month of the year, first trash of the year. And I don't have a whole lot, but I have some good stuff in here. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I have are um, some makeup remover wipes. I probably have a bag of these in every single empties video for probably the last year and a half, maybe even two years. So you guys let me know in the comments if you want me, my phone ringing. I thought it would be my husband. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue to show these items that I have on a regular basis, like the wipes, um, maybe the cotton rounds that I do all the time. You just let me know if it's something that has been shown several times, do you want to still keep seeing it? Anyway, and if I sound a little, you know, congested, it's because I have a little bit of a sinus thing going. Anyway. It is what it is. Um, I'm just glad that I haven't gotten the flu. My little grandson last week had the flu. He's five. He had the flu shot and he still got sick with the flu, which I know I think what's going around is a different strand of flu that the flu vaccine this year wasn't good for. I don't know. But I felt so bad for him. He is a very rambunctious little five-year-old little boy five-year-old boy <laughs> that will wear you out <laughs> talking non-stop but anyway for two days straight the little guy did nothing but sleep oh and would just lay and so you knew that he didn't feel good which of course he had all the other symptoms of flu and he did test positive for flu, because my daughter, thank goodness, was able to take him to the doctor within the first 24 hours of getting sick and got some medicine, but mm, I just felt so bad for the little guy, but anyway, so, okay, the next thing I have are some cotton rounds. These are from Ulta, and it's the exfoliating cotton rounds, and I've talked about these a lot of times, and I've talked about how much I really, really like them. But I don't know if I have gotten a hold of a bad batch, but probably the last two bags that I have used have been horrible. They've been, they fall apart. I can't even get com my face completely done with my toner my, to exfoliate it before these guys have started to um, come apart and they are leaving little things all over my face. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with those. I think I have a couple more bags that I had ordered um, a while back. And once I get through with those, I may have to switch to a, um, a different brand. I don't know. Okay. So I may have to stop here and there to get a drink because I can feel, I knew this was going to start. I can, I can start it to feel it draining and starting to tickle my throat. So my trusty giant Diet Coke from Sonic. <clears throat> so hopefully that will help me get through with these little bit of empties. And then I have these um, cotton clouds. These were ordered off of, I'm pretty sure Amazon. A while back I mean I ordered like a boatload of them and um, they're supposed to be comparable to the Shiseido cotton um, I have a video of that on doing that comparison and I will put it up in the little I cards let you watch it and then you make your own decision on whether or not they are comparable to the Shiseido or not then I have oh that wasn't too bright. Oh. It's hot. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, I had a candle. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew, I knew better than that. I did. I had a candle. This is a candle holder. But I have my little um, thumbs up guy sitting on there. So I have it tipped, you know, over. So I got the bright idea that I wanted to put a candle in there because I wanted it to um, light these little crystals up because I thought it'd be pretty during the video while I was recording. Well, oh, that's still hot. This little part right there, right in there. Let's see. Let me get it where you can see it. Okay, right in there was a mirror. And the heat from the candle loosened up the glue <laughs> and the candle just broke, or the mirror just broke. So you know what that means. That means I'm going to have freaking seven years of bad luck. And you know what the sad thing of it is? This is the second mirror that I have broke this year. Two, two mirrors I have broke this year. This is the second one. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. So, uh, ooh, and those are hot. Well, duh, because they've had a candle blowing on them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get this back over there. We're not going to relight that candle. <laughs> oh my God, my husband would kill me if he came home and I had set the house on fire with a candle. He would absolutely kill me. I would have to just hope I went up with the fire. I shouldn't say that, but... Oh, really? <laughs> oh, ow! That was hot. That was still hot. Sometimes my brain just does not function properly. And this is one of those times. That is definitely not one of the smartest things I've ever done. Okay, back to the empties. I think the fire hazard is um, is good. We're good. No more fire hazard. hazard. I won't be doing that again. Anyway, um, the Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. Um, did finish up another one of these. I, I think they're working. Um, I haven't noticed any hair growth, but I have noticed that my hair isn't falling out as heavily as it was. But that could also be another, some other contributing factors. One is I went back to my original hairdresser and that really knows how to color my hair without frying it. That's one of the reasons why I had it cut. I had really long hair. If you remember, I had grown it out and got it really, really long, and then I went and had it cut. Again, <clears throat> that was for about a year. I went to a new hairstylist, and um, I think with the hair color that she was doing, the way she was doing it was really frying my hair, and I was losing like handfuls of hair. So I went back to my original hairstylist, and then I started taking these vitamins and I started using um, the Monet. So I don't know if it's a combination of all three of those, if it was just one thing, if it's just the vitamins. So I can't really sit here specifically and say, yes, the vitamins did it, but I don't think they're hurting. They, I mean, they have a lot of different um, good vitamins in them. That's not just good for your hair, but for your skin, blah, blah, blah. And they taste good. They don't make me ill. They're just a little gummy bear. So, and I'm pretty sure that's probably my third or fourth bottle of those. So I have the Monet. I have the Intensive Repair Treatment Conditioner that I finished. I have finished another shampoo and another conditioner that I didn't put in my empties because I have I'm a little I'm a little on the fence with this product uh, and the reason being is because I had some issues with another product that I have been using that caused a lot of hair damage and I'm just very 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 cautious with what I use on my hair now but um, I don't know so I don't know if this is really if it's good, if it's bad, there's so many, there's so much controversy with this product, with this line of hair care. So 
but I'll, I'll use it and then I'll get nervous and I, I'll stop using it. But then I notice that my hair starts looking drier and a little bit more damaged. So I'll go back to this and it starts looking a little bit more conditioned. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I did finish the um, conditioner. Plus, this stuff's expensive. Lord. Then I have a toothpaste. This is my Colgate Sensitive Whitening Toothpaste. I drink a ton of pop. So, as you know, you know. So, my teeth definitely are stained. And I try to combat it as much as I can. They're never going to get white like I wish they would be unless I stopped drinking the soda. But anyway, so I use that. Mm, okay. This product is not empty, but I decided this year I was really going to start um, purging out of my collection. I decided not to, first I decided not to do a project pan this year. But I decided on the other hand, I really want to start um, purging out products that I don't like. I'm just not going to force myself to use them for sake of using them up. This just does not work for me. It's the Prep and Prime Eye, and it's in the color light. For one thing, it's too orange. It's too orange for me. It's too thick. It's too drawing. I'm just not going to use it. I thought I would use it um, for a foundation. So I wore it the other day, Saturday, I think it was, for a foundation. Oh. My face felt like a dried up prune by the end of the day, so no. So I'm just going to put this in my back to Mac box and just trade it in for something else for lipstick. So that's a no-go. I have some uh, mascara products that I finished. One being uh, one of my favorite products, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Um, do not get an expensive eyelash primer. Just get this. Save your money. Use your money elsewhere because for $8, $10, whatever this is, you can always get it on sale at Ulta. It works just as good, if not better, than the Chanel or the Dior <coughs> eyelash primers that they have. So do that. Then I had a little um, deluxe size sample of the Superhero It uh, Mascara. This is what I got as my birthday gift in November from Ulta. And I like this, but this particular little bottle here, I think, was old because it was already kind of dried out. But as a whole, I really do like this formulation of mascara. Yeah, see, the lid was really hard to get on and off, too, so. And then I finished up the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is a standby staple. Gosh, I've used Clinique forever and ever and ever, so if I'm in the market for a new mascara, but I want something that I know is going to work, I know I can always go back to this, and it's going to be fine. I have a couple of the um, Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine um, Fixing Spray. Um, I do like this. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it's in a little bitty bottle. And when you look at the cost per ounce, it's just as expensive as the Urban Decay, if not more. But I do like it. But I was sent the Ofra um, Fixing Spray um, from Octoly, and I like that just as well as I liked the Urban Decay. The reason why I'm not using the Urban Decay anymore is because they changed the formulation. And I don't, I don't know why they do that. Why do companies fix something that's not broke? Anyway, so I had these, and I... Um, I didn't... What I did was, because the way that these sprayed, the sprayer's not that good. And one of them, when I got it in, was broke. So I just popped this lid off of there and poured it into my empty Urban Decay, uh, Urban Decay spray bottle because it has a really good sprayer on it. But anyway, so I had those. Here's a little guy that I finished, and this is the Fresh Sugar 
row in the color rose or the formulation rose. It's one of those lip balms. I didn't like this. I know there's a lot of people that love the fresh and go through little tubes and tubes and tubes of it, but I didn't care for it at all. So um, a little sponge. This is from Real Techniques and it's just a little domed sponge that's domed on one end and flat on the other end. And I absolutely love this little guy for stamping on my foundation. Just like that, yes. And I also, and this video is coming up, I almost have all of my notes ready and all of my pictures taken of the products of all the BB creams that I ordered, or not BB creams, cushions. And I like putting all of my cushions on with one of these, as opposed to the little cushion that actually comes in the compact. I like this better. So, and you can get these um, in a little container, a little set. How many is in the set? Hang on, let me get that. It's a container of four at Ulta. And this past weekend, weekend before last, they were on sale for $9.99. And you could buy two and get one free. And you can use your coupons on those. But I, I do, I like those. I like those better than the um, the beauty blenders. If not, if not better, and they're cheaper, and they're a better value. So another product that I have that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with and it's from Kerastase and it's the Oleo Curl Intense Hydration Mask. Sometimes my hair absolutely loves this mask and then other times it's like, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, used it all up. I finished it up this morning actually. The only thing with this, I do believe they have discontinued this line. And I have two more in backup that I found at Nordstrom Rack that were on clearance for $9. And this is normally like 50, anywhere from 50 to $75, depending on where you buy it. But anyway, so I have emptied that out. Then I used up a little one of my um, Elizabeth and James perfume sets that I got during Christmas, these little travel size, and this is in the black, and I used that up. I just recently got in a spray of this, a big spray, that I got from Hot Look. <clears throat> I also finished up the rose, so I have both of those. The only one I have left is the one that's the white, the Nirvana white. Oh, I have another mascara. This is the L'Oreal, no, not L'Oreal, Lancome, Bonjour Big. It was okay. It was not my favorite. This, I think, did I get this? This was sent to me from Octoly. Yeah. It was okay. I'm not going to go out and repurchase it. Oh, uh, cleanser. This was one of the cleansers that I bought during the um, Black Friday Cyber Monday haul when I did the huge Korean skincare haul. And I, this was from Vanilla & Co. The Clean It Zero. It's a cleansing balm. I really did like this. Um, had no complaints. I felt like it got my makeup off without any problems. It didn't leave a film on the skin. Um, it got everything off. It rinsed it off clean. It smelled good. It was not irritating. And it's a reasonable price too. So if you have been thinking about getting this, I would give it my A-OK. -okay. Then another favorite product that I have that I used up is my Maycoop Raw Sauce. And this is a Acer Maple Water Essence that I would use as a toner and I would use it during the um, the seven layer toner process or the seven skins I guess is what it's called seven skin method the Korean seven skin method where you layer your toners on seven times and I would use this as my very last step <clears throat> or my very last layer or skin. I get it out anyway. I love this stuff. I like the way it smells. I like the way it feels. I like the way it goes into my skin. I like it. And I have a big bottle of it. But I'm going to hold off on opening it 
until I go through at least one of my toners. So, okay. Okay, good thing we're almost done because I just had a massive sneeze attack. Have a um, brush head for my Clarisonic. And I don't remember which one this is. Which one is this? Is it the delicate one? I think it is. Anyway, I... After I had I had gotten one of the cashmere ones, ones that has a little bit longer um, bristles on it, and after using that one, I don't like any of the other ones. So I have a lot of extras that I had bought previous sales, but as soon as those are all done, then I'm going to just go back to that cashmere one because that's my favorite one. Oh, this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Oh my goodness, okay, if you want a really good moisturizing under eye cream, try this. Try this. This is wonderful. And I think I have two more of these little containers. And once I get done with these, and then I have a um, Bobbi Brown that I want to finish using up. But once all of my eye creams that are done are used up, I'm going to strictly be using this guy. That is good. I liked that. Then I have from Yvonne's, Yv oh, I don't know, how do I say this, Yvonne's, <laughs> I'll, put a, I'll put it down here on the screen, you'll see it. Anyway, it was a performance peel, and it's a step one and a step two, you have your little activating pad that you just rub over your face for a couple minutes and then you leave it on for a couple minutes and then you rub this over it which is the neutralizing pad and then you rub that over that and then you have a really quick simple little peel to do but i like this one better and this is from murad and it's the rapid resurfacing peel with a 10 percent glycolic acid and um, this one you just rub it over your face and then just leave it on um, i didn't rinse it i don't think that you're supposed to yeah it says do not rinse so yeah and it doesn't come with a, a neutralizer you just after the couple minutes so you can put a moisturizer over it and that will neutralize it all right so that is the end of this very long empties video my gosh anyway <laughs> if you stuck with me this long thank you so much um, don't forget to um, give me a thumbs up also, click on the subscribe button so you're notified of all future videos and also the little bell icon. And have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.